raise awareness about health issues among veterans linked to burn pits. Burn pits are large areas of land where potentially toxic waste is burned on military bases. Local 22's Dana Casulo tells us how the Vermont National Guard wants more veterans to enroll in a registry. The adjutant general for the Vermont National Guard, Gregory C. Knight, served in Iraq, where burn pits were commonplace. In Ramadi, Iraq, um, we had a burn pit. It was pretty large, um, and it was burning 24-7. General Knight says what went into that burn pit was a little bit of everything. Pressure-treated lumber, radio batteries, tires, paint, uh, medical waste, feces, um, and that's in the air all the time. He says exposure to burn pits left him with health issues. He is among more than 700 members enrolled in the burn pit registry. The past 20 years, we've had uh, thousands of our members deployed across Southwest Asia. Could be Afghanistan, could be Iraq. And that's where um, those burn pits were used. This past August, the VA added three presumptive conditions related to particulate matter exposure. Asthma, uh, rhinitis, sinusitis. To be eligible for benefits, you must have developed one of these conditions within 10 years of leaving active duty. The Vermont Office of Veterans Affairs helps veterans file claims to receive these benefits. It's proving that you were in that place at that time uh, and in close proximity to, say, a burn pit. New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is among those advocating to help veterans with diseases linked to burn pits. She sent us a statement that reads, the connection between exposure to burn pits and the devastating health effects of respiratory illnesses and rare cancers is clear. No one should have to spend years jumping through hoops, doing research and paying for doctors and biopsies to prove to the VA that their illness is service related. They served, they volunteered, they go on challenging deployments. Uh, the least we can do is take care of them on the backside. Dana Casulo, Focal 22 News.